Welcome to Sidelines with Stoyan. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan. Thanks for joining us today as we are live on Facebook and YouTube. So please do comment. We have our social media team ready to uh, comment back. So we would love your interaction. Again, I'm Jay Stoyan and you're watching Sidelines with Stoyan. What a beautiful day here. It is Monday afternoon, live about 20 after four. Again, do comment. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. Big day today in the world of sports. Obviously, the Leafs are playing the Sabres tonight. Two teams going in the opposite direction with about as many young guys on each team. But uh, I don't know what's going on with Buffalo. Jack Eichel's uh, number two pick. He can't do it all himself. Reinhardt, just a bust. Sam, number two pick overall. Same year as we, uh, William Nylander. Not a very good pick for Buffalo. They're in, a, they're in a heap of trouble. They've just changed over their coach last year, Dan Blasma and their GM, and now they got Phil Housley, who I think is a great, he was a great player, takes some time to be a coach. So we'll see, big game tonight with the Leafs and uh, the Buffalo Sabres. Of course, for the Toronto fans, Austin Matthew, Matthews is gonna miss another game tonight. I don't know, the Leafs are just not the same without uh, that game breaker in the lineup. I know everybody really tries hard, you know, Mitch Marner, William, all the guys, all the defense, really young guys, really lots of talent. But with Austin Matthews out of the lineup, you're missing your game changer. He's a game breaker. He does it every night. Let's just hope that uh, this is the third time this year he's been hurt. And if you look at his injuries, like my stress ball, if you look at his injuries there, you'll just notice that the first time he got hurt, uh, you know, he had the concussion, didn't look that serious, had the back injury, didn't look that serious, got uh, the Malachi crunch, the last injury, again, didn't look that serious. All three injuries did not make you go, ooh, so... Wrong place, wrong time. Let's hope he gets back. Uh, we don't need him right now because I don't think we're going to finish any higher than we are already are behind Tampa and Boston. Um, let's talk a little bit about, actually, before we do that, I just want to introduce two new members to our show, uh, which you're going to be seeing a little bit of video clips of them later on in the show. One is Dave Stevens. Now, Dave is a professional ball player, uh, baseball and football. He's also a uh, ESPN, he was a professional ball player. He's also a, been an ESPN reporter for I believe the last 20 years and an Emmy Award winner. And Dave uh, was born with no legs. So this gentleman is such an inspiration, such a good guy and really, really knows his sport. So right now, Dave is our field reporter down in the USA. He goes from coast to coast. Right now, he's in Arizona. Major League Spring Training. If you check out our website, www.thedisabilitychannel.ca, you can see many of Dave's interviews as he's interviewed uh, Joe Madden, actually, which we're gonna do later in the show. We're gonna show you a little clip from that. He's the manager for the Chicago Cubs. He's also interviewed some Mets. He's interviewed some Dodgers, White Sox, and we just finished uh, doing the Super Bowl. So if you want to check out our website, Dave's interviewed many, many football players from both sides, from uh, the Eagles and the Patriots, also including Guermo from Jimmy Kimmel and some guys from Howard Stern. So again, thanks, Dave. Thanks for joining our team. You're such a professional. We are so lucky to have you on our platform. And make sure you say hi to Dave Stevens. You can check him out, Dave Stevens Speaks, on uh, Twitter. You can also check out our Twitter account, uh, TD Channel One. We also have a Facebook account, the Disability Channel, where we're going live right now. So we would love to you to interact with you. Love your comments. So Dave, again, is our field reporter. We're going to be doing some big things across the U.S. in 2018. So make sure you stay tuned as we're going to be hitting, hopefully, all the major sporting events in the USA. Let's keep our fingers crossed. A lot of things have to fall in place to make that happen. But that is our goal. And along the way, we will be spreading awareness and bringing communities together, able community and ability community. So again, we want to thank Dave Stevens. Check him out. He's on Facebook. He's on Twitter. He's on our website. And we also want to introduce to our team football analyst Tyrone Poole. Tyrone Poole is a two-time Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriots. We're actually going to be pulling up a clip of Tyrone later in the show. You'll be able to see 
a little bit about what he's all about, but he's, he is um, a very spiritual man, uh, a very successful man, a two-time Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriots, played alongside Tom Brady, and many he was a first-round draft pick for the Carolina Panthers and uh, went on to great success, I believe 13 or 14 years in the NFL. Again, a starter with the Patriots, two rings. He's a motivational speaker. He is a great mentor for uh, the youth of today. He organizes football camps. He speaks to the youth. He's very inspirational. So again, you have to check out his foundation, the Tyrone Poole Foundation, number 38 on your scorecard. And uh, again, he's also on Twitter, Tyrone Poole Foundation. He has his own uh, website. You can also check out his Facebook page. So we're very lucky. And we're also bringing on another superstar onto our panel. Now, uh, her name is Unstoppable Tracy, Tracy Schmidt. She, ha she does have a show on her dial, but this lady is such a powerhouse that we had to include her on our team as she's gonna be going around the States more hitting the entertainment uh, venues than the sports, but she's also an athlete. She's a skier and she's a swimmer and she's a, uh, um, a sailor. Like you got to check it out again. That's unstoppable Tracy. So she's going to be the third leg on our team as we're going to be spreading awareness right across North America and the world with our Roku TV channel, which is a free subscription. We would love for you to subscribe. The more subscribers, the more the awareness grows and the more together our community becomes. So again, Roku, Dave Stevens, Tyrone Poole, lots of great stuff going on. And this Saturday afternoon, yes, this Saturday afternoon, we will be at the Hershey Center filming two live shows. Myself, we will be doing a sideline show there with a special guest to be announced. And we'll also be doing Trailblazers with Susan Stewart. Susan is an uh, Olympian. She went to the Olympics in 1996, basketball player. And she's going to be interviewing a CFL legend. Again, we're at the Hershey Center watching the Raptors 905. So I want to thank the city of Mississauga. I want to thank Councillor Pat Sato for her generosity with regards to the box. Thank you, Pat. Really appreciate it. And I want to thank... Uh, the team at the Hershey Center, they've been nothing but uh, very kind and, and uh, supportive to the Disability Channel. We're going to be doing some big things out in Mississauga, including at the Aaron Mills Town Center, where we've been shooting a, a few live shows in a great, great retail shop called Mindshare, thanks to Robert. So we're spreading our wings. We're all about employment and accessibility. So if you're a corporation out there that would like to get involved, like Champ Engineering, do give us a call at 647-339-6847. You can ask for myself or you can email us at jay at the disability channel as our employment platform is growing and we would love to introduce it to you. Thanks again. What else do we want to talk about? Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're at right now, we're at Major League Spring Training Baseball. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break I'm going to leave you with a, uh, well, it's actually in our editing version, so you'll be able to see it on our website. We're going to insert a clip of Dave Stevens interviewing Joe Madden, manager of Chicago Cubs of uh, the Major League Baseball National League. So stay tuned, and we'll be back after this commercial message. Welcome back. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan, and you're watching Sidelines with Stoyan. Again, right off the top, everybody knows, everybody in the world, including the guy upstairs, because the sky is blue, are Leaf fans. So again, the Leafs tonight against the Sabres, I believe 7.30. Don't miss it. We're all Leaf fans. We're going to the playoffs. Let's see how we do this year. I want to sort of dissect the Leafs a little bit. Give a big shout out to Babcock for finally moving Leo off the third line onto the fourth line, where he is great. I mean, tonight you see that Matt Martin's back in the lineup. I think that's good. I think Matt needs to get back in. Uh, Dominic Moore, I believe, is out. Austin's still out. Sammy Kapanen, how good is he going to be? He is just a barn burner. I really like him. I think he might find himself on the first line next year. Nothing against Hyman. I think Hyman's a great player. His skill level 
uh, just does not match Austin Matthews. But I know you need a plugger. You need a plugger, and they already have two skill guys with William Nylander. But I think Nylander is auditioning right now for center because he is a, a gifted center. He is a natural center. And I think next year they might try and move him to center position because there's going to be a couple of changes over the year. I don't think we're going to be keeping Bozak. I don't think we're going to be keeping Leo. We have some good guys on the farm. Uh, how about Dermot? Dermot, and he knows next is Hall, but I think Lindgren is going to be our stud. So he's spending a whole year down in the, uh, on the Marlies. And I think when he comes up, he is going to be our number one stud, which is going to be great. I think he can play with a veteran. And uh, on, the, on the back end, I think what they'll do is probably move up Morgan and Zaitsev to the number one line, put Dermot and Gardner the number two line, and put Hainsey and, uh, or Hainsey and Dermot and um, Gardner and the other guy. I forget his name right now. But anyways, I think that's what's going to happen next year. I think we're going to bring up Linger. And, of course, Freddie, Freddie is so solid this year. Is he going to win the Vesna? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at who we're up against. Tampa and Boston and Pittsburgh. Those are the teams we have to beat. I think for the Leafs, and I'll be, be, let's be real here, they got, a, they got a first round match, tough one. Boston and Tampa, you can't get tougher now, which I don't understand. I don't understand why they don't go back to the old formula where it's first plays last, second plays 15, and so forth and so on. I don't know why Boston and the Leafs or Boston and Tampa are playing each other right away. It's just, uh, I don't know, not too good. I want, I, want to talk, I want to switch subjects a little bit. And um, what I want to talk about, I want to talk about the NFL Combine coming up. And I was going to talk to actually Tyrone, and we're going, to, we're going to shoot to a clip about Tyrone. But I wanted to talk to him about how he, what he was experiencing in his first Combine, because he was a first-round draft pick. And I wanted to see how, how excited he was, how nervous he was, how, you know... Out of, out of fish out of water. What's he going to do when he goes to the combine? Things like that. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna bring him back in to talk about that. I want to give a big shout out to Antonio Cromartie. He retired. What a, what a great defensive back. Uh, again, we're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. What's going on with the Oilers? The Edmonton Oilers. What has happened to them? You could not draw up a worse blueprint over the last eight years for the Edmonton Oilers. I think they have the number one pick five out of the last six or five out of the last seven years, including Connor McDavid, who's just unbelievable. Um, and they just can't get it together. They just can't get it together. They, they traded away Maroon now. Um, they made some bad trades. They traded away Hall, Eberle. They got one guy on the team. Cam Talbot, just not the goalie he was last year. Darnell Nurse, eh, just not there. Not there, but I feel bad for, for uh, McDavid just because he knows a Toronto boy. I know he really wanted to come to the Leafs. Unfortunately, he uh, didn't happen. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. I also want to mention, I hope you like that. Uh, you'll watch the clip with David. Dave is also... Uh, we, he also went to the Hall of Fame last week, so we also got some wonderful clips on the Hall of Fame. And I think uh, we're going to take another quick commercial break, and you're going to see a clip from Tyrone Poole. Tyrone was up, at, up in Canada uh, a little while ago, one of our awareness events, uh, just introducing himself and talking about his uh, motivational speaking. So very interesting guy. We're going to leave it with this. You'll be able to see it in our edited version of the show. Stay tuned, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Han uh, welcome back to Sidelines. I'm your host Jay Stoin. Sorry, I got mixed up there. I was reading my notes here. Okay, uh, what I want to do is two things. I want to talk baseball because the Blue Jays now are down in spring training. See how they're going to do this year. Stroman's a little bit, uh, a little bit banged up. I seen him the other day. He's got the old uh, wrap on his shoulder. Hope he's going to be okay with the rotation. What are we going to do? How long is it going to take Vladdy to come up? Uh, the two guys, Bo and Vladdy, there are two number ones. 
prospects to come up. I don't. I think they're probably still a little bit too young. Is Josh Donaldson and Tulo going to be able to? Are they going to stay healthy this year? They're they're getting hurt. I, I don't know what's going to go on with the Blue Jays. I think uh, once we brought in the Cleveland guys, they really they really messed up our team. Unfortunately, um, I really like Batista. He's going to be gone. Edwin's already gone. It's going to be our guys are getting older. Russell's older. Uh, Sanchez, they said, is just sparkling down. Let's hope he doesn't get any more blisters. So it's going to be an exciting time. And you know when the boys, you know, boys are back, springtime's coming. So that's an exciting thing. And I'm going to leave it with this, I think. Tiger Woods. He's making a comeback. He's adding tourneys to his schedule. He had the operation on his back. Let's hope uh, he's okay. I mean... I'm not a Tiger fan, but I appreciate how good he was at one time, and I appreciate what he did for the game. Unfortunately, he got sidetracked a little bit, but a lot of people, that happens to a lot of people. So I'm rooting for him. I think it's better when he's in the game. I think it's better when everybody's kind of chasing him. You know, so let's, let's hope he goes to the Masters. Maybe we'll see at the Masters. <laughs> I kind of doubt that, but you never know. So again, uh, do check out our website, www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. You can check us out on Twitter, TD Channel One, the Facebook channel, the Disability Channel on our Facebook. You can also tweet me at Jay Stoyan. Do join our Roku platform as it is a free subscription, limited time offer only. And uh, we have about over 200 shows up there. We keep uploading new shows every day, so we're very excited. We're worldwide on Roku, free subscription. The more people that join, it helps us with awareness. We do have the largest club in the world, 1.1 billion plus persons with disabilities, and we do not discriminate. We accept anybody. So again, I want to thank our viewers for tuning in. Got my little squishy ball here. And uh, yeah, so again, do check out our website. We have two members, two new members to our team. Dave Stevens is our field reporter, and our football analyst is Tyrone Poole. Very excited for the year coming up in 2018, especially when the, uh, the playoffs start, and then we get into the summer with the baseball, NFL, playoffs again, NBA. So uh, keep it locked here. Sidelines with Stoyan. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan. We'll see you next time.